Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mass Man Reviews back again with another video for you. And today what we have is another one from the Parfums the Marley line, and this one is Pegasus. You may be asking yourself, what are these other fragrances doing uh, in the presentation if we're going to talk about Pegasus? Reason being is that all of these uh, colognes right here that you see, or perfumes, whatever you want to call them, um, they have the Pegasus type uh, scent profile. And I was kind of introduced to the Pegasus uh, perfume without even purchasing it just because of the hype kind of surrounding the perfume and also the hype uh, regarding the actual Pe Pegasus clones. Uh, my least favorite of these is probably this one right here, although it's a great bottle presentation. Um, this one is from uh, Ajamal Evoke Silver. Uh, this is uh, does share the Pegasus DNA. Um, probably my least favorite, but it is very good nonetheless. And then uh, the for first place, I think it would be a tie between these two, but I think in regards to presentation, uh, scent, and everything. As you can see, there was quite a bit used there. Um, this one kind of edges this one out. And uh, I would say, so second place would kind of go to uh, our Moth Craze. And that's actually, I'll just leave it as a tie because as you can see, the um, I've used quite a bit of this as well and quite a bit of this. I've had these for a couple of years. So I think in regards to presentation, the Al um Portfolio Royal Stallion edges the craze out just in, in presentation. Opening, it's an overall better scent, but again, as far as the budget is concerned, the uh, Armav craze is slightly more economical than the Al Haramain. Al Haramain is a little bit more expensive um, so you're paying a little bit extra for all those, uh, for the quality and the details. So what we have here for you today is from the Parfums de Marley collection, and it is um, Pegasus. So I'm just getting that out of the box so I could uh, present it. So this is my scent of the day today, Pegasus from Parfums de Marley. It's kind of clear color as in regards to the the actual uh, perfume inside, and which, which is kind of interesting because the clones which I own are much darker and richer in color. So I would have expected the Pegasus to have that rich dark color as well, uh, but it does not. Pegasus is kind of uh, a classic uh, uh, fern structured scent and it's warmed by vanilla, and it has a creamy almond and sandalwood at the base. So let's kind of just jump into the actual notes. You have heliotrope, cumin, and bergamot at the top. At the heart, you have bitter arm, almond, lavender, and jasmine. And then at the base, you have vanilla, sandalwood and amber so to be quite honest with you in all transparency the notes that are the superstars of this are that bitter almond that vanilla sandalwood and amber so if they would have listed four notes for this particular scent i wouldn't complain about the four notes that they had listed had they listed those four notes the other notes do play kind of uh, an important role in this, but um, not as much as those superstars, which I just mentioned. This is a creamy almond base scent. That's it. Um, the other notes, like I said, kind of play a role, but um, not as much. This one is classified as an oriental uh, fougere, and it was released in 2011. Uh, but again, um, that's just a classification. To me, this is a gourmand type scent. Um, th those um, 
edible notes make this kind of like a warm edible type of treat. It's almost, um, it reminds me maybe like a, a, an almond um, biscuit um, with uh, vanilla. Very interesting scent profile. Uh, very gourmand-like for sure, definitely. You, you're not gonna uh, be confused about um, this kind of having more uh, spicy notes or its characteristic in general. This is just very straightforward in its scent profile. What, what The notes that I'm listing are notes that you're definitely going to get. The other notes, maybe the cumin, does also play a role in this. Uh, the bergamot just kind of, I, I guess, very faint in the opening. But overall, what you're going to get is, like I said, a very um, vibrant, not vibrant, but very sweet scent. This could be considered maybe cloying, I would say, um, if you go super heavy on this. In regards to the longevity with this particular uh, formulation, I got eight hours total with approximately uh, an hour and a half of projection. Today was a little bit of a warmer day, but I was in a very temperature controlled environment. So basically I'm pretty confident um, with the estimates that I'm giving you as far as um, the longevity and the um, performance wise, how, how long it's pushing um, in the initial hour, I would say hour and a half, it's gonna be pushing really nice. But that's not to say that you will not get um, smells of this kind of coming and going. Um, I would say maybe at the four, even the four hour mark, I could st still detect this um, in areas of my skin without having to put my, uh, bury my nose into my arm to, to smell it. So it does last okay, and it does project pretty well, but um, I, I don't think it performs as well as the other clones that I had mentioned. Um, the, the top ones, like the Al Haramain, um, Royal Stallion, and the um, Armaf Craze, those are pretty good performers. So basically they compete with uh, Pegasus in regards to the performance, um, silage, and overall scent. The Armaf does have a little bit of a harsher opening, uh, but um, the Al Haramain is, um, I would say, almost 100% similar, whereas the um, Armaf one uh, kind of goes to the 95 range. But again, like I said, the Armaf, um, I'm not sure how much it costs right now, but it was very economical when I had purchased it. What else can be said about this scent? This is a very popular scent, something that um, is, is appropriate for um, festive occasions. I would say uh, for fall, it's really, really good. Maybe like for Thanksgiving, um, family gatherings, things like that, where you wanna have that warm almond, um, ambery type scent. Um, like I said, everyone really, I've said this before, this is, uh, Parfums the Marley week for this channel, and a lot of people like Parfums the Marley. And this is one of their most popular scents ever, I would say. Uh, other than that, you're, this is a, a, a great addition to anyone's collection. And by the way, there's another one that just came out recently called uh, Pegasus Exclusive. So um, that might also turn into a monster hit. Uh, being that it just came out and from what I understand it has the original Pegasus DNA with a little bit of latent exclusive mixed into it So just imagine that this is already a great scent. So um, Making it Pegasus exclusive is gonna be um, even better All right people take care of yourselves peace and blessings I went a little bit extra, but I wanted to make sure I gave you guys as much information in regards to um, the clones that are out there for Pegasus, the history being that this is something that uh, at one point was very popular within the fragrance community and also um, how great it is. It's really a great scent. Take care of yourselves. Peace and blessings. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Later.